So in this video, you'll learn how to log into your Samsung account on your Samsung Galaxy S25. So by logging into your account, it means you get access to other features that otherwise you wouldn't be able to use. So being able to change the theme for one, accessing the customization service and enabling find my phone, all sorts of things are available when you add your Samsung account. So in order for you to log into your account, you have to start by opening the settings app. Once you've launched settings, you should see this sign in to your Galaxy. So just tap on it and then we'll start the process. So from here, if you have a Samsung account, then you can, and it's linked with your Google account, you can choose sign in with Google. You can choose to sign in with a different email or phone number, or you can choose to sign in with a QR code. It's completely up to you. Alternatively, if you don't have an account or you forgot your ID or your password, you can just tap on this option. If you don't have an account, select create account. If you've forgotten any of your information, you can just tap on either forgot ID or forgot password and just go through that whole process of signing in with a forgotten identity. So for me, I'll be choosing sign in with Google. So I'll just tap on it like that. And then it will sign me into my account. So from here, once you've signed into your account, you have the terms of condition that you need to agree to. And then you also have the special terms, Samsung account privacy notice. And then you also have the option of enabling, of using the customization service and offline finding. So you can choose to enable by selecting them, or you can just choose to deselect them. It's completely up to you. And then once you've selected them, you just tap on agree, and then it will take you to the next step. If you have two-step authentication enabled for your Samsung account, then you'll need to enter in the code so that you can sign in. So just tap on send code. The code will be sent to your phone number. And then you can just tap, type in the code here. And once you've received the verification code, just tap on verify and then wait for you to be logged into the account. Once you're logged into your account, you should now see your account information. So the devices you're currently logged into, payment methods, Samsung Cloud, Galaxy AI, all sorts of things. And so that's how you can add your Samsung account to your Samsung Galaxy S25. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.